Welcome back to Georgia Farm. Today we're going to be looking at five mods that I found for you. Anyway, it's a rainy day and I'm downstairs in my now very cozy basement. Now we got a mod installed that makes it a very nice place for you to hang out with your friends. Too bad you don't have any friends then. How dare you? Get out of my basement! Why? So you can just confirm the theory or uh... Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just get on with this. You, you start... Um, he's here to help me out. He's going to start unpacking the next part of this video. Anyway, here's a bathroom. Look at that. Smoothly transition into into my boxes or briefs or whatever and I can take a bath down here But bathrooms are a luxury in Stardew Valley. If you have a bath bathroom, you're part of the social elite really Concerned Ape is very against bathrooms. So this one is a highly illegal bathroom, but there you go You got you got a bathroom bathroom in your basement Lovely moving swiftly on you can see that the basement actually has a massive amount of space that you could use for a workshop or for us however it will provide a convenient space for us to demonstrate the next mod that we found which is all about animations why haven't you unpacked everything yet uh you cannot place furniture down here just like your normal basement unfortunately damn it okay here we are in a shed that we've decked out with all of this furniture this is a an animation mod that brings to life a bunch of furniture and a bunch of stuff. It's wonderful. Look at this. It's one of the trees from the uh, crane game machine. Is Junimos hiding in it? I'm, I'm deeply concerned about that. I don't like Junimos watching me. Uh, it, we got this dance floor here. Everything is alive. And of course, there are more mods made by this m wonderful mod creator. There, there are different ones like for like fish and food. And st look at this Junimo. Don't look too closely. You might have a seizure. I don't know. You might be sensitive. We discovered that th th this teddy bear looks like he's holding a rocket launcher if you put his face behind him. That, that's pretty fun. Can't quite see that pipe, but the pipe's alive. This picture, for some reason, looks like the meteor from Final Fantasy VII. So yeah, like I said, this mod creator has gone about animating everything, and this is just some of the furniture. It's wonderful. Look at this little fishbowl. You often start out with a fishbowl. It's nice to see this, the, the fish swimming about. So let's take a look at uh, how it li livens up your house. I mean, it's very busy in here. It's a shame the Wombat statue doesn't come to life. And it's not because of the reasons that you probably think. That's slender. Get your mind out of the gutter. I really don't like this Junimo being in a tree. I'm going to get rid of it. Into the furnace with you. Our next mod gives Linus a treehouse, and Linus is actually here behind the bush. That was the first thing he's done today. He's taken a massive dump behind the bush, yes, yes, oh jeez, I shouldn't have looked. But here, here is a cozy treehouse. Linus no longer, oh look, a poster from, from oh he's got a, oh that bed is rancid, why did I go in there? This is Linus's personal journal. Better not read it. Nah, no, I'm just gonna read it. Today I took a massive dump behind the bush. It was so big, I'm so... Uh, uh, second point. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have read that. Why did it... What? what I, I should have known better. I should not have read that. Well, anyway, yeah, this is one variation of the mod. We can give Linus a home now. It's pretty cute if you ask me. There's some sashimi down there. I think he really likes sashimi. He sends you that in the mail. And uh, yeah, this is what he looks like on the outside. I mean, I gotta say, it's nice that he can have somewhere somewhat cozy to live in as opposed to a tent in the middle of winter. It's, it's, it's better than nothing, you know? Ooh, berries. Now we're gonna look at the larger version. Because there are two versions. You can change it up in the configuration file. Anyway, let's just check out the house. This is the much bigger version. He's got a full kitchen. Food on the table is apparently delicious. Do I have a choice? I hate annotations like that. There's a TV down here. The TV is set to a nature channel. Now everything I brought with me can be used. My sport coat here can be fashioned into a backpack of sorts. I'm going to wear what was once one of my pant legs as a hat. Is that a Bear Grylls impression? I think I'm more confused as to how Linus is getting power and, and satellite in here. What the hell? I'm getting it for free. Hello there, welcome to my Joja Fishing Farm, and I am going to show you the best Stardew mod ever created! The pet interaction mod. Look at this, with a simple click, my little buddy Steve can follow me. He can literally go anywhere with me, I can, I can take him to the beach. Let's go, I'll show you. There we go, he's, he's loaded up on the next screen and he will follow me wherever I go. I'm just going to pick up these hazelnuts. Okay, and now to show you the next really good thing about this mod, I'm going to need a bit of wood. 
I'm just gonna cut this tree down. Watch yourself, Steve. Don't get squashed by the tree. Pick up some of this wood. Pop it on my bar there. Now oh, this is really nifty. You're gonna be impressed by this. I could throw it! And Steve will bring it back for me. Obviously, this is more like something that dogs do, but you know, you might have a very intelligent cat or that you might have trained. I mean, not to say that cats are dumb, but yeah, look at that. That's a wonder in itself, that mechanic. This is amazing. I love it, to be honest. It's so fun. Right, Steve, let's go. We've got more exploring to do, buddy. Off we go. If I go in a building. I'll show you what happens. Steve's already in position. If I go into the house here, Steve is waiting outside for you. Very much like when your horse waits for you when you go to the desert. There he is, he waited for me. Come on, Steve, let's go. Whoa, do you see that? He just chased those birds. That's another thing that this wonderful mod does. Your pet will interact with other animals. Don't worry, he never actually captures them, but they will chase them. Ooh, blackberry. Oh, he's off again! Oh god. Oh god. There's birds everywhere. Steve, calm down! Whoa, there you go. Wasn't that cute? You like. Chase that instead. Instead of the animals. Oh, maybe I flew that one a bit too far. I'll try again. Whee! Lovely. Okay, for our next part, I have to inform you that Steve is a trained stunt cat. And, and don't try this at home, okay? Oh, see, we can pour water on him and he doesn't like it. Don't worry, he's fine. And I can pat him on his head immediately afterwards. I can even hit him with a tool. Don't worry, like I said, he's a professional. He's fine. We'll just we'll just pat him on the head. It's all good. Why this is in the mod, I don't know, but you can do it. Now, getting your pet to unfollow you is as simple as a click. He's following me with, with one click and then he stops following me with another. Easy peasy. What a lovely mod, eh? Hello, welcome back to my farm. Just to make sure that we don't end on some cringy, wholesome pet nonsense, I am going to do something that could possibly make Stardew history. I am going to defeat the mighty Pam once and for all with a very special mod. First of all, I must goad the Pam into a rage. Fight! Hissing! Hippin! <laughs> Weakling! Who you calling a weakling? Chicken in half? Chicken out or what? Take that! Oh. Away she goes, Team Rocket style, blasted off again. Apparently she's ended straight up in the hospital, I don't care. Canonically, she's gone. Uh, I don't have anything against Pam, I just wanted to see if I could actually, actually defeat Pam. Apparently I've received beer. As a reward, she immediately drops a beer, and I think I got a thousand gold, too. Let's go try this out on people who actually deserve it. Now, who better than to attack than this scumbag? My, my ultimate rival? Chicken it out? It will be easy. Coward! Get ready. Reminds me of your grandpa. What the hell? How come my freaking grandpa? Uh Knocked him right out of his glasses. His glasses are broken. Ha! Huh, this shop's mine now. We are open for business, folks. Pierre is gone forever. At least for a little while. I love how Abigail and, like, Elliot just didn't give a damn about that. Lewis! Your reign of terror is over! You shall make no more golden statues on my watch! Yeah! <laughs> Smacked him right out of his pants. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Better not inspect these too closely. Is that new? Well, here they are anyway. I knocked them all out. Somehow they ended up in the hospital, in the clinic. They're all knocked out. They don't have anything to say to me. Pam's wearing a sleeping mask, maybe? A little sleeping bubble? Oh! Just came in here to speak to Harvey, and they all just started yelling. I think Lewis just shouted a veiled threat at me. Wow. Well, this, this was the uh, fighting NPCs mod. If anything, it's good for a chuckle. But, uh... Remember, folks, violence is not the answer to your problems, unless you're me. Thanks for watching this video, folks. I think we gathered together some uh, fun mods. They're all really easy to install. Most of them just use Content Patcher. The animation ones does have an extra file for, like, uh, Content Patcher animations. That's a real good one. 
And there's a, there's a lot more of that. You should check that one out. Thanks for watching.